Georgia, what did you think of summer? Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? Yeah. It is Masterclass Week, which is one of my favorite parts about SSTI, and they get to do all these classes with the professors. We bring in a guest artist. We had Jelani Remy come in on his day off from playing Simba in Lion King on Broadway, flew down, taught a Masterclass, taught some of his Ain't Too Proud choreography. That was really, really incredible. And last week was my first week back at the Lion King. So I started back at Simba, um, yeah, last week. So it's very exciting. I've been for five years. Um, but today is 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 the, this is fuel for me to see like, the next generation of artists putting in the work and wanting to learn. Even if you're in the tech, we're still one unit. We're still one family in this community. So today is for you guys. Um, it's for us to just play, explore. That's compelling performing. You know, finding the finding the concept and going through to the very end and developing it, making it bigger, and then working with others. That's what we're doing. I'll just do a quick, 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 quick ancient art conversation. <laughs> But it's session two, which means from my end of everything, we have to be thinking about packing up this entire company so we can leave and leave this place as if we were never here, which involves inventory check-ins, moving a bunch of stuff to storage in U-Hauls and Penske trucks. Ben is normally at all the storage trips and kind of running around and really in the trenches with everyone as we try to figure out what goes where. This is when I was directing. How funny is all this? Look at this. Oh wow, you did Legally Blonde? Yeah, summer 2012. Good. Cut it. Hope that made the footage. <laughs> It's really kind of a hectic time because once the students leave, we only have three days to move out everything. And especially the biggest thing is striking this huge set. So we are uh, doing a lot of prep work right now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when we get to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we can really um, be super prepared to do a big push so we can get out of here on time. Right after session two ends. Here, we're not only in charge of breaking down every single student apartment and getting all of the things that we provide out of there, we also have to get all of our staff moved out um, in a couple of days as well. And we had all of our staff here to help load all the kids' luggage into our giant truck that we had. So that kind of looked like not only staff being here to help student life and company management load all the kids out, but it's also a way for the staff to make sure they say their goodbyes to the kids or to start saying bye to the kids um, by helping them move their rooms out and then also getting that one-on-one -on -one time with them before they go into that last performance and all of those emotions come in. I had trepidation because it's a huge show. Um, and the time that we had to do the show um, can look impossible, but when you have the people that uh, have the heart and the knowledge, intelligence and creativity to bring it all together, it's so much easier. It's been a, a tough road um, because it's, it's heavy material, but the students, the creative staff, here, everyone here at SSTI um, has made it such a wonderful journey. Um, that I don't want to leave. But we all have, even good things come to an end, so. We have the honor of doing this show one more time. This show is going to be to our biggest audience we have ever had here this afternoon for Ragtime. It is really, really exciting. It is going to be 
undoubtedly driven by momentum because we've been churning through this process and we are at the finish line and we are going to sprint through it. Soon we're gonna step on that stage and we're gonna do this one more time and then we're gonna go out into the world and we're gonna take what we talked about last night, our attitude of gratitude, lessons learned, and we're gonna close up shop here for another summer. And I'm so honored to do it with you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of our family. Deep breaths in through the nose. Let it out. Family on three. One, two, three, family! They leave at the end of the closing performance. We kind of have their luggage ready to go. We are prepping for the end of the summer. So on top of all the things that we have to do to get the students out and back to their families at the end of the show, including strike, uh, we are also doing a space restore so that we can return the school back to the hands of this school's theater department better than we found it. Vodaz is actually going really, really well. We did a lot of prep to get us to the space that we're in today. I think. Overall, a lot of the departments are a day ahead, which feels really, really good going into here Tuesday morning with the staff leaving tomorrow at four. So this is it, the last full day of SSTI 2022. The summer has been um, really great. I mean, for me personally, um, I know I've always thought about coming back to work here and being able to be back and kind of give back to this program that has meant so much to me has been incredible and amazing and being able to help out with documenting it all through this series has been amazing. This year I really got to do something I've always wanted to do, which is make this documentary and really showcase the entirety of the program and really show both sessions and essentials and junior and all the amazing people that make SSTI happen. So I think this docu-series has been a really great um, episodic diary of what summer has been like here. I think it's a, it's a healthy look um, at the day-to-day -day people and, and places that make SSTI happen. Uh, and I'm so grateful that, you know, on a cold day in December, sitting in our little apartment in New York, I can go back and watch and see all the people. I, I hope that people watching this really get a sense of what it's like to be here and all of the wonderful, wonderful people that truly go into making this. And I mean, these two humongous shows that we put on, it's been, it's been really special to be able to be a part of that and work with that. And I know that it will only continue to get better from here. I say this probably too much, but when I leave for SSTI is that I believe you. I believe in the work, I believe in the motivation, I believe um, in the dedication that you've put, in, put and instilled into all the students and also the adults that get to work with the students, that you have entrusted us doing the job to change the world, uh, one show at a time. They learn a lot of skills here and I, as, as great as it is to learn skills and add things to resumes and add things to portfolios, I hope they walk away from this experience being better collaborators and better people, uh, and that 
they remember that to be kind is to get work in this industry and uh, that they can do what they want to do in life despite anything they may come across. It, it has been one of the most rewarding experiences for me in terms of just knowing like what type of leader I am. We're able to be kind of like their home away from home while they're here. And so being able to be home for these kids and to provide that sense of comfort has been really rewarding. It's a giant job for everyone involved, for our staff, for our students, for Ben, um, for everyone working, but it's there's such big payoff when you see those students on stage and you get to see them continue to succeed after they leave. Did we have fun? Did you have fun with all your friends? Nope, not excited to leave. That's it's harder on her than it is than it is me closing up all her friends, all everybody going away. No, but this was a really, really good, really, really strong year. I would say one of my favorite years that we've had. It has been great to bounce back for the year following the post-COVID summer, which was really, really challenging last summer. This was a great group of students and staff. Everybody really pulled together to accomplish the unified group goals that we set and um, I'm really, really proud of the work that we've done.